he was just a real complex layered person. Um, you know, growing up, it was just, like I said, the artist, the rapper Tupac. We loved the California love. We loved Toss It Up, me personally, because of the connection with my father. Uh, but diving into this, I got to really understand the person, how he evolved to be who he was. You know, I told somebody this recently. I was inspired by the 17-year-old Tupac. I ne had never seen this interview of him at 17 at the Baltimore School of Arts. And all of these social issues and awareness that he's talking about and campaigns and awareness things that he's doing at his school. You know what I'm saying? I had, I personally cannot recall one 16, 17-year-old, 18-year-old at my, my high school that was on that level of thinking and consciousness. And 26 years old, I'm inspired by a 17-year-old, you know what I'm saying, Tupac. So I learned... Uh, a great deal about him that but it had to that had to come uh that had to do with his upbringing with you know what I'm saying Afini Shakur in the Black Panther party you know she instilled that in him as a young age um so he had that panther that revolutionary spirit in him as a young boy it's happening what happened to me i got shot five times that's what happened to me what happened to you you used to be damn it's stupid and it's dangerous it's dangerous getting shot, too. The man I knew wanted to use his voice to educate, to bring people together. If he coming at me, he going to get dealt with. So can't nobody tell you nothing, huh? Huh? Not about this. OK. Jaden! fortunate where I could refer to YouTube videos and um, and movies and uh, interviews and photos and anything I could get my hands on, any references that I, I could grasp onto. Um, by the time I had uh, connected with her, we had like just finished the project. I, I had just finished um, filming. I believe they were still filming. Um, but I had just, uh, she had just called me, um, and she's been so supportive, and, um, and really, uh, the more I, I talk about her, and uh, the more I um, actually love this woman, it's fun for me to find all these new things to say about this very, she was prolific in her own right, she was somebody who broke a lot of um, boundaries, and was so multi-dimensional is so multi-dimensional as an artist and as a woman and for me as a woman in entertainment it's really important so yeah I, I've spoken to her uh, I we talked to her yesterday mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know I think as an actress this is the first time that I've been um, a bit uh, fiercely protective uh, over a role over a, a person because this is not just you know some story these this is this was Pac's life you know, he would want Jada to be protected, Jada would want Pac to be protected, and we want to make sure that their legacy and, and, and their life is protected. So, you know, I see myself finding, you know, things that I, I just want to make sure that I um, honor that relationship and the dynamic that they had uh, as friends. <laughs> Tupac life, every person in Tupac's life, everybody was important. But the trajectory, the things that propelled him forward, um, I was able to narrow those pivotal points down. And that was from listening to what Tupac said and how he described what his life was. So if you say, um, what was your life growing up? Tupac gave you specific points. And so I, did, I took those points and then I also went a little deeper and gave you the reason behind those points. You follow what I'm saying? So I didn't go too far or spend too much time in one particular area. Uh, it was like his life was phonetic. So in that same energy, I, I wanted the audience to feel that phonetic way of living, that almost living on the clock countdown type of scenario. So um, with following Tupac's POV, um, I was able to fit the through line into two hours and 20 minutes. The 
support of of all of it is has been absolutely wonderful because they know that I respected the IP enough to not try to color outside the line and just make up fictitious story or glorify uh, uh, nonsense or perpetuate nonsense. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, it's it's really been really great, man. I I haven't shared this with anyone yet, but like a couple of weeks ago, man, I was really like nervous, not in the sense of like, uh, but. Just nervous and like, I don't know how the world is gonna respond. Like it's so close and there's, at this point, there's so much anticipation and so much, so much expectation. But um, the, the way everybody that has been reviewing the movie has, they, their response is like, you know, I can only be so like grateful for that and confident with, you know, if we going in here and, and if it does live up to the expectations, will it, which it feels like it does, then that's just to honor the Tupac, you know what I'm saying? That's what he deserves. So, you know, it's it'll be it'll be great if that's what happens, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we're all expecting. Well, I also think there's a deeper um, parallel where you support this film. We're also supporting ourselves. We're supporting our stories being told. We're supporting the, the young Pac, the young right. Jada, you know, the young LT, you know what I'm saying? To, to go out there and create and, and tell our own stories and you know, LT said this um, earlier today. Uh, he said, "This isn't just a movie. A movie, it's a movement." And uh, the support from you guys watching means so much to us, more than I think you guys even know. And, and I think the audience has so much more of a responsibility than they even necessarily realize. Like, yeah, I just go out there and you know, support the film and watch it, but also like, this is. A really crucial time for us to be supporting each other and you never know what could happen from just this movie doing what I, I know it's gonna do.